Then guess what happened Hi, next? everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Oh, I am so sorry. I just interrupted you. Go ahead and finish what you were saying. Okay, um, what was I talking about? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, boy. As soon as the words came out of my mouth, I knew that I had interrupted this conversation. Uh, before this develops into a bad habit, I'd better cook up a lesson on interrupting is disrupting. Respecting other people's words. I don't know about you, but sometimes I interrupt people while they're talking. It's like I hear their words, but then an idea hatches inside my brain. And before I can catch it, it flings out of my mouth. Kind of like this flinging chicken toy. Other times when people are talking, my brain hatches a thought and then it tricks me into thinking that I need to talk right away, even though it would be better to wait. Interrupting people can make them feel like we don't care about what they have to say. They may become frustrated or angry with us and that can make us feel upset or really embarrassed. Now that doesn't mean you should never interrupt someone. In fact, if there's danger or impending doom, or if you or someone else is really sick or seriously hurt, it's important to let someone know immediately. But when there's no real emergency, it's respectful and polite to wait until people finish what they are saying before you begin talking. When an idea hatches in your brain and quickly moves toward your mouth, here are some things you can do to keep it from interrupting other people's conversations. Begin by closing your mouth and keeping it closed. That way, your words will stay inside your mouth. If you'd like to join in with some people who are talking, stand nearby and wait until there is a pause in the conversation. Then say, excuse me, just once. Because if you say, excuse me, over and over, that is disrupting. You'll know that it's okay to talk when people either look at you or say your name or invite you to join in the conversation. When somebody else is telling a story, if your brain hatches a thought like, me too, or something like that actually happened to me, you can let them know without interrupting. Just use a simple, me too gesture to let them know that you agree or that you've had a similar experience. Then continue to listen respectfully to what they are saying. When they're finished, they might just be interested in hearing your story. Oh, and here's something else. It's not only important to keep from interrupting with your words, you shouldn't interrupt a conversation with your body. When you are walking toward people who are talking, show respect for their words by walking around them instead of going between them so that you don't disrupt the flow of the conversation. This is a polite thing to do. Listening and waiting without interrupting sends the message that you respect people, that you care about them. And when people feel like you care about them, they will enjoy having you around and talking to you. Try some of these strategies so that you can develop the habit of not interrupting and see what this can do for you. And I'll see you next time.